Okay, so I'm pretty sure you already know the level is Lofter House at this point. And I'm sure that when you saw it for the first time, the first thing that went to your mind was, oh my god, this level is so hard, what the fu- And guess what? That was exactly what these Lofter House creators wanted you to think. That was their strategy. If they made the level to be really, really hard, no one would notice that the decoration actually sucks. I'm just kidding, please don't cancel me on Twitter. It's not that the decoration is bad. It's just, whenever I look at Slaughter House, I see a lot of potential that could be unleashed on it. And that's why I decided to make this video. Today, I'll be remaking Slaughter House. And for that, I will use my very own decoration style. That is surely going to be crazy. Okay, so as soon as we start playing the level, we die. Okay, so as soon as we start playing the level with no clip, we can clearly see that the creator from this part tried to make some kind of glimpsy effect on the eye of that club step monster. And the problem with it is that it looks boring. Whenever I see people trying to make this sort of glow effect, they will just make some small glow and then call it a day and that's something that you shouldn't do at all see the better way to make this kind of glow effect is to make them as bright and intense as you can they really have to be very flashy and noticeable as you can see here i'm just making this glow to be way more intense and visually appealing in general i'm also making it rotate a little bit so it gets even more attractive to look at and this is how it looks like after the changes I made. See, I personally think it looks way better this way. But that effect was just the beginning. As you can see here, we still have a lot of work to do and you won't believe it, but when I was just wandering through this part, trying to think about something to do, this is what I came across. You may ask me, what am I talking about? And I will tell you, the 3D is completely wrong here. Oh my god, this is terrible. After fixing all the wrong 3D on this part, and believe me, it wasn't an easy task at all, I really wanted to work on these spikes. They're just way too simple for me. And if you guys know me well, you already know that I don't approve that at all. I always like to over-decorate my spikes. I just can't control myself so let me just do some small improvements on it real quick i'm just gonna add some more spike bevels here and as well as put some glow and boom it is done i know it looks quite simple compared to my regular spikes and that's because i didn't really want to over decorate it too much this time now i will just spam it into the part also i'll make some small variations on them so it doesn't get too repetitive you know after finishing the spikes i wanted to do some work on the design see in my opinion the slaughter house designs are pretty lazy not gonna lie it looks like the creator of this part just put some red circles on them and just called it a day also do you guys see those tiny little squares on the designs I just wanna let you know that they literally take over 4,000 objects from this part. Like literally, I don't really understand the point of even making this. Anyways, let me just remove it from the part real quick. And since this part has some little grass objects going out from the ground, I'm just gonna add some grass objects in the top of it because why not? Now, let's do some improvements to this club step monster right here. I don't really wanna make it look way too different from its original version. I'm just adding some stuff coming directly from my style here, such as some glow and black outlines. Also, I tried to add some eyes on it, but it ended up looking like some sort of weird Pokemon, so I just removed it right after. Also, I added some glow lasers around it, and now it looks like he's crying. In the end, the monster ended up looking in the exact way I wanted it to look like. It isn't too different from its original version, but still, I can clearly see a little bit of my style into it. Now, it was time to work on the designs, and to be honest, I didn't change them too much as well. I just added some strips and some glowy details in general. The same goes for the pillars, except that I decided to add a little bit of variation on them, so they don't feel too repetitive in the part. And for the last, 
I added a slightly low opacity black glow in the bottom of the designs. I always like to do that because it adds some nice contrast to the blocks. But if you do that, please be careful. Because if you exaggerate the black glow, your design is surely gonna look very ugly. Always remember to keep it low opacity and not to spam it into your blocks. After finishing the designs, it was time to make the sauce. I know that the original Slaughterhouse sauce are just black, but I personally hate just leaving it like that. So let's try to make something on it real quick. But before starting it, I just want to let you guys know about something. I am actually terrible at decorating sauce. Just take a look at this collab part I made. Did you see any sauce in there? Of course not. I literally never do them. I don't know. I just think they don't fit to my decoration style that much. Anyways, as you can see, I'm clearly struggling to come up with something good here. The first idea I had was to make a saw with some kind of roots going out of its middle just like that. Yes, somehow I legit thought it would look good. And as soon as I realized it was looking extremely ugly, I just deleted it. And then I decided to try to make something less weird. So I just went there and made this. I know it doesn't look that good, but as I've already said, the saws aren't exactly the best element of my decorations, so yeah. At this point, since I didn't want to put more air deco, it was practically done. I just had to make some more edges on this level in general. After doing the saws, I decided to improve this background a little bit. I made the glow to be a bit more glowy by just copying and pasting it and dragging it down a little bit. I also made it move leftwards to give a little more dynamism to the part. Also, I increased the bright of the stars on the BG of this level, in which you probably didn't even though they existed, and they are 4000 objects by the way. And also, I decided to make the glow behind the text of the level to be a bit more attractive just like that. Then I just picked up a glow piece, made it 20 times bigger, made it blue, and spammed it in the part just like that. No, I'm kidding, I was actually just bored. I added some more details to the ground because I thought that was looking pretty empty. And also, I decided to add a very low opacity T3 glow. I just can't escape it. I'm sorry. And for the last, a very small arrow in the part won't hurt anyone. At least, I hope it doesn't. Now, after 6 hours of work, I'm finally done with this part. But, before showing it, this video is sponsored by... No, I'm just kidding. Here's how the part looks like. I know that a lot of people are just gonna come to me and say this is literally Slaughter House but with more glow and yeah I can deny that's basically just it. At least mine has the right 3D okay thanks for watching see you next time.